who are you? Where are you from? You're like, you're swirly. You look like you're mixed. Like you're not just like a white girl from Jersey. No, I'm not. Who? You could be though, no. no. <laughs> um, I am of Hawaiian, Ukrainian, Filipina descent. Oh, <laughs> exotic. <laughs> Nicole Scherzinger, the beautiful Puskat Dao. But before that, please subscribe to my channel, Pinoy Proud and Pride TV. That's how I be kind of became educated and aware because of my Philippine background and realizing that human trafficking is an epidemic in the Philippines. Any way that I could be a voice to bring awareness, to raise money to this, absolutely. You know, Apple is like family to me from the Black Eyed Peas. Um, but like Troy touched on growing up, you know, Liz Longo was one of, I always looked up to her, you know, because it's, I didn't have any other pe people who look kind of like me growing up, right? Yeah. Yeah. That I could relate to and that who could, they were like my. Nicole Prescovia Elicolani Valiente was born in June 29, 1978. He's an American singer, songwriter, and television personality. Born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Cher Zinger initially performed in plays throughout her adolescence and went to study at the Wright State University before dropping out to pursue a musical career with American rock band Days of the New and later found modest success in 2001. Upon winning a place in Eden Crush, a girl group created through the WB's Pop Stars. Idols and, um, you know, I, I dreamed every night that I was on that Miss Saigon stage. <laughs> and um, I, I'm such a massive fan of hers. And I'm actually working on a, a Broadway standards project um, myself. Troy's going to help me with that. <laughs> and uh, maybe I could do something with her there because I'm just a massive fan of hers. I actually think I'm going to be doing some um, charitable efforts for you soon. Yeah. And charity efforts has been a big part of her busy life. Recently, she acted as co-chair for the Coalition to Abolish Slavery and Trafficking. Scherzinger says learning that the issue of slavery affects Filipinos inspired her to join the cause. Sure singer parents are Alfonso Valiente of Filipino descent and Rosemary Elikulani Frederick of native Hawaiian and Ukrainian descent. Her mother considered abortion as Sher Singer was conceived when she was 17 years old, after her father left the family at the age of two. Rosemary went to marry German American Gary Scherzinger who adopted Nicole and whose surname she eventually took. She has a younger sister, Kiala. At age six, they moved to Louisville, Kentucky, where her mother was a clerk and her stepfather was a welder. Scherzinger describes her upbringing as a difficult as she grew up without much money and supported her parents by being a waitress taking local modeling jobs and being part of entertainment troupe of the local amusement park, Kentucky Kingdom. With her grandfather as a priest, Scherzinger was raised as a Roman Catholic and considered herself conservative with really strong religious beliefs and would go to church twice a week in order to make her mother proud. I love you too. I'll probably cry um, even more tomorrow <laughs> because, like I said, I just have such a great sense of pride and gratitude to be here, and I just feel so connected with all of you, all of my fellow Kababayans. Now y'all can take a shower now. You can <laughs> bust out a hose, okay? Yeah, a little exactly. man-made bidet. Yeah, exactly. But like... <laughs> At the age of 14, she enrolled in Actors Theater of Louisville, where she was cast in her first professional play, La Biette. She graduated in 1996 from the Youth Performing Arts School at DuPont Manuel High School, where she participated in many plays, including Alice in Wonderland, in which she portrayed as Alice. 
Sure singer was surprised she got the part as she was up against a girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. In 2007, she was inducted to DuPont Manual Alumni Hall of Fame as one of the youngest inductees. It seems that you are still so very in touch with your Filipino heritage, Nicole, and we're so proud of that. Um, we heard, in fact, that you're planning a collaboration with Lea Salonga. Wow. And we're really excited for that, looking forward to it. When cameras and everything, and I was really sensitive, I wore my heart on my sleeve, and I just didn't know... All I knew is that I wanted to sing and sing from my heart. I didn't know anything else. So it was, I definitely learned a lot from the show, from the experience. It gave me a couple good calluses, you know, like I said, to prepare, prepare me for my future. In her final year of college, Sherry Zinger was hired by days of the new band leader, Travis Mix, to contribute vocals in their self-titled second studio album. Mix sought out a singer who would deliver some more world operatic textures and sounds. The album's supporting tour followed which led Sher Zinger to drop out college. Towards the tour's conclusion, Mix started that the two grew apart creatively, claiming she didn't seem to understand music well, but noted she is an amazing entertainment. In 2018, Sher Zinger received the 2017 Alumna of the Year Award from the Wright State Alumni Association. And then when he asked me, I was like, are you kidding me? It's an honor. It's my honor to be a part of this. So I jumped on it right away. It had been a dream. I was like, this is for the first time I get to sing in Tagala and, and to give back. I know my family is going to be really proud. How is your stay here in the Philippines so far? Well, I have been on tour for over six months now. I've traveled all around the world. And I have been so excited more than anything to come back here to the Philippines. She came to wider public attention when cast as the lead singer of the Pussycat Dolls and released the albums PCD in 2005 and Doll Domination in 2008, become one of the world's best-selling girl groups of all time. Scherzinger's prominent role was a point of contention within the group and factor in its eventual dissolution in 2009. Despite achieving mainstream recognition, Scherzinger's has struggled to carve out a successful solo career, releasing two studio albums, Killer Love in 2011 and Big Fat Lie in 2014, to moderate success. The former includes the number one single, Don't Hold Your Breath. I just want to say that since I've been here and I've come back, I'm just so proud and I just feel like I belong. And... Mahal Kokayo! Wow! My family speaks Hawaiian and then I grew up, I was learning uh, Spanish. So I think that kind of helped me uh, with it. Sherry Singer subsequently ventured into television, winning Dancing in the Stars in 2010 and serving as a judge on multiple television talent shows like The Singing Off, Australia's Got Talent, and most notably The X Factor UK for four series. She currently serves as a panelist on The Mass Singer to rating success and has reunited with the Pussycat Dolls for an upcoming tour. As an actress, Sher Singer made her West End debut in 2014 revival of the musical Cats, for which she receives a nomination for a Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role in a Musical and starred in television film Dirty Dancing. Yeah, actually, um, I loved, I was a big fan of the Black Eyed Peas back then. And I, I was in a group called Eden's Crush before. Of and course. we toured uh, together. So I was like, I used to go past their dressing room and be like, jumping music, Swifty J. Throughout her career, Sher Singer has sold 60 million records as an artist and more than 54 million records with the Pussycat Dolls, 
with our other ventures, including clothing lines, a fragrance, and service as an ambassador for the Special Olympics and supporter of UNICEF UK. How about you? What can you say about Nicole Scherzinger? Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. This is Pinoy Proud and Pride TV. Thank you so much for watching.